So this video is for you if you're not ready to share your pregnancy or just wish to keep it a secret, intimate and personal for just a little while longer. So I'm currently in my third trimester of pregnancy or seven months pregnant. I'll be dividing this video into two sections. In section one, I'll go through some dressing and styling tips along with a demonstration as well as some examples to help you completely hide your pregnancy bump and baby belly. And in section two, I'll go through some tips to keep your belly well hydrated in order to avoid stretch marks itchy skin as well as dry skin just remember there's absolutely nothing wrong with having stretch marks it is completely normal you are growing a human and your body is doing amazing things but these tips are mainly to avoid dry skin itchiness and discomfort that comes along with stretch marks so for the very first look I'm starting off with my second trimester of pregnancy or basically weeks 11 and 12 so this look is great for you if you have a smaller baby bump as you can see here I don't look pregnant at all here and this look would work even if you wore a tight fitting top just as long as your pants are high waisted and oversized or loose fitting and baggy. This is because the pants go right over your little baby bump and provides the illusion of a flat stomach in comparison to the rest of your body and balances it all out. So this look is basically perfect to hide a smaller baby bump. Moving on to the second look it is to wear a loose fitted tunic top. This is also perfect for summer. This can be paired with anything but tunics look great with a pair of leggings. Again as you can see here the top helps to hide your baby belly really well you can't see it at all with the tunic on when in reality you can see the bump when I start to lift the top with this look I paired it with a pair of maternity leggings so it's nice and comfortable as well and this would work well for a small to medium sized belly bump but it would also work well for a large belly if you wear a very loose and oversized tunic top for the third look you can wear any sort of dress that is not a figure hugging or bodycon type of dress for example this dress here works really well and looks stylish because it is still tighter on top but loose and flowy on the bottom again you can only see the bump when I hold my belly or bring the material of the dress really close to my body so this look works great as well now moving on to if you have a bigger belly which is in my third trimester for the fourth look I'm wearing a loose fitting t-shirt you can also wear a loose fitting dress shirt or any sort of top for this look I'm pairing this top with some track pants for a more casual look but you can also mix and match this with different pants and bottoms again you can't tell that I'm pregnant until I actually tighten the shirt so this shirt is basically from Bartek an audio amplifier company that my husband is working on and will be launching shortly it's with class A amplifiers that is all made from scratch by all by himself and all made in Brisbane Australia for the fifth look I'll be going with oversized jumpers jackets blazers and coats this look is perfect perfect for winter. This look can really hide your stomach well including your waist, torso and upper body as well as you can see here completely hides your belly bump. This look would also be great for covering small, medium as well as large belly sizes. For the sixth and final look I'm going to go with some nice and flowy summer dresses like this one again. So I basically included dresses again because they worked really great so with a small belly bump in the second trimester but they also work great now in my third trimester and depending on the dress you can actually hide your entire pregnancy up until you give birth with a loose fitting summer dress and they're also extremely comfortable and won't touch or irritate and annoy your pregnancy belly so dresses are basically your best friend for this purpose as you can see here with this dress they hide my bump really well now moving on to section two of the video I want to share four ways in which I keep my belly bump nice and well hydrated to basically avoid itchy skin and stretch marks in pregnancy I would recommend starting this very early on in your pregnancy like in your first trimester or as soon as you find out that you are pregnant so that you are taking the precautions even before your skin begins to stretch number one in the mornings I like to use the Palmer's cocoa butter stretch mark massage lotion all over my belly number two Two, at night I apply coconut oil, argan oil or bio oil. I like to switch it up with the oils so there are a variety of natural oils that you can choose from. Number three is staying hydrated by drinking lots of water and also staying active. And number four is I just wanted to remind you again that there's absolutely nothing wrong with having stretch marks. It is completely normal. You're growing an entire human and your body is doing amazing things. But these tips are great and useful for avoiding dry skin, itchiness and discomfort on your pregnant belly that can come as a result so that's all I have for this video today I hope you enjoyed watching it thanks for watching take care and I will see you in my next video